let me know that uh, he has managed once again to add a lot of bullshit a lot of bullshit a lot of bullshit to our tech tree thank you Tim for that thank you for 29 a lot of bullshit a lot of bullshit a lot of bullshit yeah so he's managed to add a lot of bullshit to our, to our tech tree uh, so obviously I want to check it out I want to check it out I want to check 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 it out of course knowing what I already know about some of these ships and considering it's midsummer yeah there is a uh, there's only one way to deal with today. Today's stream will be short, but I feel it will be interesting. Cheers. Let's see. Let's see. Karu, I bought... Uh, one of Sami's friends was in Estonia, so I bought like eight cases of beer from him when he came home, so... The best he had was Karu, so... Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that. That's good. Uh, gas or charcoal grill? Gas. Guess, guess, guess. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Overtaxed beer. Yeah, everything in Finnish Finland is overtaxed. Beer, especially like alcohol prices, are absolutely ridiculous. So, <laughs> obviously, obviously, if whenever people go, whenever people go like out of the country and they come back, they always sell beer or whatever to everyone else. That's how we do it because the Finnish system is really good. Anyway, 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 let's start. Let us start with the bullshit, the bullion shit. Let's see. Okay, where's the, I hear this, the new ships, new ships, new ships, new ships, new ships. So the first one is the I-56. I, 1944, I-56, a large cruiser type submarine type b3 her main armament comprises six torpedo launchers concentrated in the bow and her additional armament consists of a 140 millimeter deck gun cruiser now people begged people begged for you to be able to manually utilize the deck gun on the submarines back when they were still adding submarines wargaming refused and they made it an automated secondary, and now we know why. So they could sell it as a premium. Hey! Well done, well done, well done, well done. Create the problem, sell the solution. Hey, let's go, let's go. The wargaming classic never fails, never fails. So um, yeah, let's check it, take a look at this thing. Equipment. 140 millimeter main battery. Reload time 2.3 seconds. Sap shoots sap by the way. Man, they've been slapping sap on everything lately, haven't they? Holy shit, that's a real gimmick lately, isn't it? Sap on everything that moves. That that's like literally the, the fucking selling point of World of Warships these days. 2.3 second reload, that's without any modules. Wonder how much you can build reload on it. I wonder how much reload you can actually get on it. Can you even build? Like, does this sub tree even have access to anything that builds main gun reload? I don't know. Seems seems sus. Seems sus. Not that lot, I think. No, I don't think either. I don't think there's any way to build faster reload on a submarine. There's no fearless brawler. There's no BFT. There's none of those perks. Gunboat submarine, of course. They were they're listening to Malta again. This is what happens. 24.2k health at tier 8. And if it has sub saturation, that means French saturation. So it's obviously going to be the tankiest destroyer slash submarine at tier 8. How the hell does it have 24.2k health at tier 8 though? That's so much health. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what's like the max these normal ships have? Like normal destroyers. Let's see, destroyer all. All, and then we do tier 8, all. What's the max health these things have? Uh, health. Twin, the Gustav Julius Merker, which was literally a destroyer leader. That thing has 22.3. What if we added tier 9? 24.4. So the Paul Felix Schultz. 
Felix Schultz, which literally had 4,809 tonnage. Or sorry, 4 point, yeah, 4,809 4 tonnage and 154 meters in length with a 13 meter beam. These ships have the same health as this new sub. Interesting. Keep in mind, none of those have French saturation, and so far every sub has had French saturation, or like super saturation basically, so this thing is probably gonna happen. Ping! 6 km torps, 78 knots! Wait, you have two types of torps, you have alternates, 73 or 78. The alternate has a range of 12.5 kilometers. A tier 8? 35 second reload. It's got six individual reloads. Wait, it's got six individual loaders. It has six loaders, so it loads every torpedo individually. So you can launch a set of six with a 35 second reload. What the f... What the fuck is that? The unguided does 14.3k a pop. Yeah, it does shit ton of damage. What the hell? I-58 is 3,747 tons. 3.747 tons submerged. It makes no sense. Why is there 35 second reload? That's so absurd. So it's gonna be insanely tanky. It's gonna slap out hard six hard hitting torps that do Shima F3 speeds basically. Shimakaza torpedo speed. At every 35 seconds. What the shit? In fact, if you if you shoot these torps every seven seconds, you can infinitely shoot torpedoes. If you shoot every seven seconds, uh you can infinitely shoot them because they keep reloading. So every seven seconds, shoo, shoo, every seven seconds, and you can do that non stop the entire match through. What in God's name? Two stones, Jones. I'm sorry, but there's a requirement to have a win rate above 40% to speak in my chat. I apologize. You should probably find some other streamer where you can bring your fantastic viewpoints. But there's a 40% requirement in my chat and you're failing the pat. you're failing it, you're failing the qualifier, I'm sorry. Please move along, move along, nothing to see here for you. Right. But that's actually insane. That's an insane level of torpedo damage. What's the speed? 27 knot surface, 15 maximum submerged. Wait, how much speed do you actually get out of that submerged? Because you got the 18% perk, right? How much do you get? You shouldn't be get too much, right? It should still be somewhat slow. And then you add... Uh... Yeah, it's not that fast, anyway. It's only 18... It's actually slower underwater. Re it's funny how this is a rare thing in World of Warships, but the, a submarine... <laughs> a submarine... <laughs> this is like... Whoa! Can you believe it? This is a sub that is slower underwater? Okay, crybaby. Yes, we're crying over your fucking incredible takes, Two Stone Jones. You can move along now, like, holy shit. You all, we've already seen your, your peak takes. Thank you, thank you. We're, we're trying to look at new ships. We don't have time for your pepega. Thank you, though. I, I appreciate the support, your fantastic uh, input to the chat. Jog on, mate. Exactly. Anti-gimmicks. I'm surprised at this. I'm surprised at this. I mean, it's a great change. It's a great change because this means you can actually catch up to this sub. The problem is, of course, it's going to be insanely tanky to take down. And the sheer amount of power, uh, damage output that it puts out is going to be horrendous. Is it a single gun, though? Let's look at the ship itself. Let's look at the ship itself. Is it a single gun? Oh, <gasps> no, is that it? No, that's it. Oh, I was like, oh, I was like, no, <laughs> no way. That's a dual barrel, but it's too small. Oh, thank God. It's a single gun. Oh, we should that. Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that 
scared the shit out of me. I was like, oh god. No, it, it is a single gun. So this thing slaps sap from a single gun at the back. What was the concealment values on this thing? A controlled single gun. That's very important though, because you land a couple torps and he's low HP, you can you can surface and you can take pot shots with this thing, 2.3 second reload, that's not long. Let's see, ship parameters. Let's what was the concealment on this thing? We we looked at it earlier. It had a concealment of the surf seven point three. What modules can you slot on a tier eight sub? Could you slap could you spec con could you slot concealment module? I don't remember, could you? No, you couldn't. But uh, if it goes periscope depth, it still has what? Two point something, right? Two two point zero or even I think it was two K, I mean if it's periscope. So ultimately the sub concealment isn't really relevant as long as they can sit on periscope. Still, this thing is at least slower. I mean, it's got a lot of bullshit going on, but hey, this thing is at least slower. Two, Periscope is always 2k regardless of concealment, exactly, so ultimately it's always gonna be torturing you. But hey, at least it's slower, and if it wants to go faster, it has to surface. Good. Big change to what they normally do. Uh, uh, like... At least that's moving in the right. I know a lot of Asia players are going to buy this. I mean, it's gonna be really brutal with the torpedo damage output. Like, you already suffer with the pings, forcing damage cons, but imagine if you, like, launch three torps at a time in this thing. You launch three torps, then you wait 17 seconds, then you launch another three torps, then you wait seven sec uh, th uh, 17 seconds again, and you launch another three torps. So, like, you keep doing it like that, three torps at a time, and it's basically this non-stop to stop stream of torpedoes so your target, the only thing your target target to do is non-stop evade. Damage con evade and run. Like there's no other options. The the cooldown is so non-existent. The damage output is so obscene. Jesus. 17 seconds is Alaska reload, exactly. Like it's terrifying. The reload is terrifying. Oh uh, yeah, and let's they do have adrenaline rush. They do have Adrenaline Rush. Shit. They do have Adrenaline Rush. Shit, I forgot about that. And they got this shit as well. If you're detected, it goes down 15. This was just damage. But this is AR. Yeah, they, they, have, they have the AR. And if you got improved... Well, this is improved, Captain. Jesus. Yeah, that's gonna be... Yikes. That's gonna be pretty brutal, isn't it? How do you even play around that? I don't understand. If, if you get targeted by the sub, how do you play around that? 17 seconds, free torps. I feel like you have very little options to counterplay it. Jesus. Thank you, Thriput. That's the neat part, you don't, right? Maybe I'm missing something, but... I. I it, it seems it seems rough. Thank you, Three Food. Thank you, Fin Torino. Uh, thank you, Tinfall Hat. Thank you, Empty Speed Kills. Next up, Unhalt, a German battleship premium. This is very rare. There's very, very very few. There's very few German battleships in the game, so rare treat. It's like a tier eight German or tier eight American premium. Very rare as well. Truly a rarity. Year of design, 1944. A battleship with an unconventional layout design, armed with 15 main battery guns and 700 millimeter torpedo launcher. Okay, bro. 700 millimeter. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? 30 second reload, 350 millimeter guns. You don't overmatch much, but still, that's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. 69.5k health at tier 8. That's very good, isn't it? That's very good at tier 8, isn't it? World War 1 guns? Yeah, 1919 mount. Odin said noises. Oh yeah, Odin was nerfed to what, 53k health? This thing has 69 and a half. Jesus. Wonder what the armor is gonna be like. 
it's not a guarantee anymore that armor automatically is fantastic on German German battleships. I mean, we see the battlecruiser line. The armor is good, but they can be citadel, absolutely. Here's the torp. 6k range, 20.6k damage, torpedo speed 54. Okay, considering the caliber, 700 millimeters, the damage is less than I expected, because, like, the, the Royal Navy battlecruisers have... Uh, what, 29k alpha on their 700mm torps? It's not IGN, yeah, it's German, so... Still, 20.6, depending on how many you have, makes this terrifying to brawl against. Terrifying to brawl against. Very slow torpedoes, though. 21.1, that's good range. What's the speed? 25! 25! German battleships are usually fast. German battleships tend to be fast, like the Bismarcks and the Terpitzes, they do well over 30, with something 31. 32, the Gneisen now does the same. Generally speaking, German BBs always cross 30 knots. So, this thing doing 25. Interesting. That's quite, a, quite slow. That's quite slow. Heal, standard, spotter plane. Can't be, can't be replaced with anything special. Let's look at the ship itself. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, it's like the battlecruiser hull. These are... Man, these turrets look out of place. Cool sigil. Casemate secondaries are known to be junk. Combined with some modern secondaries. And here's the... Oh my lord. That is... That is a lot of turrets. Well, clearly you can't shoot all your turrets backwards. I wonder what the firing angles are. Where are the torpedoes? Did I miss them? Where are the torpedoes? Are they underwater torpedoes? Am I blind? They're submerged. They are submerged. Okay, one second, one second. We shall switch port. Azer Lane. Blessed be the weeb port. I never thought weebs would bring us something good, but they brought us a great port for looking at underwater, underwater stuff. Okay, let's see, where... Is that? That's the torps, isn't it? That looks like two. It looks like two launches, but one is much larger than the other. I did send, uh, I did send Steam friend requests to everyone who won the Steam gift card prize. So I sent, you need to accept them so I can send. Does it have some in the back as well? Oh, what the hell, it does! Wait, no, that's a vent. Same kind of thing here. Your five head is blocking it. I apologize. I'll show, I'll show it to you again. Let's get my five head out of the way. There you go. There you can see it. Right there. Wait, right there. It looks like a double. Usually they were single. Underwater torps were usually single. I wonder what the double tube is about? Interesting. That's the exhaust? That's what I'm thinking. The, the launch angle looks very... Sideways? Like it launches sideways. I wonder what the angle... I wonder, are they gonna get the Royal Navy gimmick with, with the curving torpedoes? Did you guys see that uh, Twitter clip I shared? Did you see that Twitter clip I shared? Okay, brace your eyes if you haven't seen this. Like, brace your fucking eyes if you haven't seen it. Let me show you guys my... I posted it on Twitter. You should follow my Twitter, by the way, for all sorts of interesting news regarding everything. But yeah, uh, there's the Twitter post. There's the Twitter post. Uh, I think this is from like the Chinese server or something. Someone posted it. But uh, this is uh, one of the new Royal Navy battle cruisers. You can see the, the torpedo here. Like he's, they got the new curving torpedo mechanic. See that? Boop. Full eight, this was Apollo Emilio with like what, 27k health? 27k Apollo Emilio. Yeah, so in case one more time, it comes out from the left, it goes out, it curves in, it curves out, boop. Uh, now, I don't, it's not actually a homing torp. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be a homing torp. The idea is that uh, you launch it, you set an angle forward, and the torpedo 
goes out, it curves in, and then it gets its course. It just, from his, from the Polo Emilio's perspective, it obviously looks incredibly obscene. Incredibly obscene. Like, being on the receiving end of that is completely obscene. But, uh, I thought it was gonna be wider, smoother angles, but this is literally like... Straightforward. And I'm wondering, that's what the Royal Navy ships are getting. So what I'm wondering is... Will these ships get, well, will this ship get a similar gimmick? Because that would make sense of the side-mounted forward and back torpedoes. It looks like a modern guided missile, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not defending it. I think it looks absolutely bonkers, absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, it was the Tech Tree Italian DD, not Emilia. I agree that it looks absolutely bonkers and absolutely ridiculous, but that is what I think is uh, going to be like the gimmick. It's movable inside the torpedo arm range. Interesting. Yeah, I, I haven't played it, I have no idea how it actually works, but still, it would make sense that this ship would get the same, and if, if it gets the same, and it's launching 10, 20km torps forward, and 20k torps back, sorry, not 20km, 20k torps back and forward, then that's pretty scary. That's pretty goddamn scary. Like, that's pretty scary having them both back and forward. We don't know, of course. We don't know if it's gonna get it. Do they actually say anything in the devlog? Let's see if they st let's see if they can say anything in the devlog. Unhalt. Four uh, X one seven hundred millimeter torps. Yes. So these are the torps. Do they say anything in the description about them? Let's see. Unhalt. Uh, da -da -da -da. In close combat, Anhalt can surprise the enemy with her powerful 700mm torpedoes mounted in four single tube torpedo tubes. They don't say anything about the mechanic. It doesn't get hydro. They don't say anything about the gimmick. So either they're just straight sideways launching, or they're the new curving mechanic. We don't know. Wargaming might not... Wargaming might not know either. We have no idea. They might not have made up their mind. The good part, of course, as Soma mentioned, well, underwater torpedoes are basically the best because they can't be lost, they can't break. And that's something that often happens to German BBs is the torpedo tubes break. This obviously cannot happen here. There, there's my Twitter. Jing, jing, jing. There you go. There's the link. Boom, ba, ba, boom, boom, boom. Twitter.com slash flammochz. Okay. Well, oh, armor? Let's check out the armor. Wait, we should go to a port that has a waterline, so I can better see how how low the armor goes. Often you mean always. Often is more generous. Didn't we already have curving torps? Yeah, we had unintentional curving torps. I didn't expect, like, finding out the curving torps bug would encourage Wargaming to implement it as a feature. <laughs> Dude, I should have kept quiet, man. Shouldn't make some vids that I do. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, 30... 30... 32? 32? That's great! The BCs normally have overmatchable armor. 32 millimeter? Huge! Partial icebreaker, enough to protect your citadel even against the likes of Yamato and Musashi, or the new ones, Shikishima and so forth. Incomparable, yada yada. 350. No exposed citadel by the looks of it. We'll see how exposed the citadel is. What's the deck armor? 50. 50. Very small superstructure. Even the booty is 32. Oh, with a long protection on the booty here. That's a lot of armor! Didn't the Swiss thing have 69.5k health? Hello? What is the shed on the back? I don't know. Some sort of superstructure thing. 69.5k health with this kind of armor? Doubtful that this will go live. This seems very sus. Okay. Whoa! Okay, wait, what? That's a turtle back. Is it... It's a 30 millimeter. It can be overmatched. It can be overmatched, but that's it. If you don't overmatch this, this is gonna auto bounce. Basically everything. In fact, the citadel is. Wait, the citadel is basically underwater. What the shit? The 
The Citadel is... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, first of all, why does that cut off here? Yo, the Citadel is... Can you see Can you see the waterline? It's clearly underwater. It's clearly slightly underwater. It's kind of, chat is kind of hiding again. Let's put it from this direction instead. You can see here? That's the water. That's the Citadel. It's underwater. Just underwater. I think it's just underwater. That's a... Uh, so it's underwater, protected by Turtleback. That's like really good. And it's got an internal plate of 50. So that's a lot of armor to get through. That's a lot of armor. Wow, this thing is so tanky. I'm actually really surprised how tanky this thing is. For 69.5k health with this kind of armor? Jesus. How does that even make sense? I don't think it makes a lot of sense. It's slow, yeah, it's slow. I wonder what what's the concealment values on this thing? Unhealth. Surface detectability 15.5. Okay, so we slap a camo. Oops. Slap a camo on it. We slap a concealment expert. We slap the concealment module. 12.2. That's not bad at all. 12-2 is not bad at all. That's not... That's really good. That's really good conceal. So 15 guns. Great, great armor. Great health pool. Good... Very good conceal. Potentially even great conceal. Kama has no conceal anymore? Did they... I don't know if they've updated the dead blocks to, to include that. That's a small difference though, then it's like 12.3 or 12.25. How bad are the guns, I wonder? That's actually, wait, that's really good. Look, let me check, wait. Tier 8, who could have, who had, who would have more health at tier 8? Health pool. Flandre Vostok Vanguard. So it sits, it's got more health than the turpets. Interesting. It gets no Hydra though, but it's got more health than these. With, what, 15 guns? Huh. Those guns have to be absolute junk, kind of, to justify almost. Especially with that Conceal, because the Conceal is much better than Turpets or, or Bismarck. Can we check it out? Wait, dude, is it available on... Is it available on, 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 on... No, it's not available in the test chip thing. Damn, I would have loved to see what the guns... Do we know what the guns are, actually? We do kind of know what the guns are, don't we? Who has the same guns? 350-45-SK. Who has 350s? Is it the same guns as... Is it Mecklenburg? Prince Aitan has them? It has 350 45 SK C14 L on a DRH LC 1914 mount. This is a 1919 mount. Uh, let's see if the Mackensen. Mackensen also has 1914 mount. Yeah, they all have an older mount. The turret is the same. The, the barrel is the same, but the mount is different. If it is mechans and guns, then these guns are trash, though. The gun guns are trash. What's the accuracy? What's the accuracy? 1.7 Sigma. 30 second reload. Hmm. 1.7 Sigma with this many guns? It might not be that bad. Uh, secondaries are 7.6 base. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. So, but it's, it's going to... I don't know how it'll play. It's a triple turret, so the mount is different. True, it's most likely copy-pasted guns. If it's copy-pasted guns, that means it has tier 5, tier 6 guns, which means it's gonna be tanky and stealthy, but the guns are gonna kinda suck. 
I don't know how effective that will be. That so honestly sounds kind of awful. It reminds me of... Kind of gives me uh, a bit of Hood vibes. Where Hood is super tanky and durable, but can't really kill much. HE spammer, maybe? Hmm. We'll see if we'll see if you can build secondaries on it. If the secondaries will, will be effective, that might give it some life. Looks like a kiting machine that throws HE. Kinda, yes. I agree, I agree. But it does give me a bit of those vibes. Okay, next up we have... Alvaro de Baza, the first Spanish ship. Year of design, 1944. A fast destroyer flotilla leader that carries powerful artillery armament and is close to the Italian ships of the Capitani Romani class. Okay, 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 okay. Second? Oh yeah, we had the tier 6 something. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it. 135mm guns. 10 second reload. 10 second reload? Hello, November Xterra. Tier 256 munchies. 10 second base reload. Okay, that's really awful. This was the one where they were playing. Uh, this ended up this end were playing with the burst. That was the gimmick. 26.6k health. Slightly more than the tier 8 sub we just saw. <laughs> mm. Very slow torpedoes. Very slow. 56 knots. 13.5 range. Like, Jesus, these are like... Uh, Elbing torps, basically. Like, yeah, don't expect to hit much with these. The Z is pronounced as S. Basan? Okay. 11.6 range. 40 knots. Interesting. Quite fast, quite fast. Smoke is junk. It's terrible. Huge gap between smoke timers. You can't replace smoke with any sort of heal. So, wow. A gunboat that you can't get heal on. That's always brutal. That's always brutal. Burst, though. The burst. Increases main battery gun rate of fire by allowing you to shoot several quick salvos followed by a longer reload. Reload time 40. Interval between inter individual shots number of burst three three okay how many guns do you have on this thing you can shoot three salvos okay so it's eight shells so you get 24 in a burst actually you shoot yeah no you get you get 24 in a, in a burst 24 shells potentially it's huge though like look at the gap between guns a huge destroyer in size. Absolutely gigantic. No doubt about that. Torpedoes are center mounted quads. Looks like quads, yes. Center mounted quads. Two of them. Interesting. Flotilla leader? Yeah. The 350mm on the Unhalt has the same shell velocity as damage fire chance on HE as Prince Eitel. Then it's probably copy pasted Prince Eitel guns. Prince Eitel guns are okay at tier 5. They're not even particularly good at tier 5. They're okay at tier 5. I can't imagine wielding those guns against tier 10 ships though. <sighs> Oof. That sounds really rough, honestly. That sounds really rough. Prince Eitel? Was it tier 6? Was it tier 6? Whatever, tier 5, tier 6. Regardless, it's 350 and you're not overmatching shit. You're overmatching light cruisers in a battleship. That's what you have to brag about. You don't overmatch... Actually, you're overmatching super light cruisers. You're not even overmatching light cruisers. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, what kind of armor are we dealing with in this thing? No armor bonuses. <sighs> No armor bonuses at all. Yikes. This is a big, big, juicy target without any heal. Oh, man. I feel like you run into this in Venezia and you just start laughing. Uh, that's what I'm really worried about here. Let's see. Mm. What does it have? What's the, the base damage is junk as well. 10 second reload? The DPM must be dog. 10 second reload with one uh, 1950 damage. 
Like the base damage must be absolute dog. Like it's entirely reliant on the burst. The AA is complete shit. It's 3.5 km. The, the, the mid range on this, the AA does 39 damage. That's the mid range, 39 damage. It only has short range AA and that thing has 3 km range. So basically zero AA. It's it's a complete victim to, to carriers. 730 meter turning circle, 5.6 rudder shift, that's pretty good. 7.9 surface detect, 7.9. So we're gonna assume that they're including camos in, in their devlogs now. Then we just do like this. 6.4 conceal. 6.4 conceal. Alex. What is the role that this ship is supposed to fulfill? I don't get it. Base range is 11.9. Like, it, it, I feel like it's Kaba Light. Kaba Light, maybe. That's the, that's the role. Same as Italian DD is no role, right? The role is to stay in port. I don't know what the role is supposed to be. Like, sell a lot of Spanish flags to the Spanish fanbase? Is that the role? I think that might be the role. It's like Clib and Cobb put together. Yeah, but it's the worst part of them. It's like Clibert's armor without the damage saturation combined with Cobb's size without the armor. Like, it's, it's like Hayate is a combination of Shima and Haragoma, but all the worst parts. Like, I don't see the point. Like, 10 second reload. So, I guess you run in with your speed, you, you engage an enemy DD, and then you burst and then you smoke. That, that's basically your role. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, at 6.4 can see, like, you're pretty fast, sure. But, wait, did it, have, did it have speed burst? It does have speed burst. It's an 8 second speed burst. Okay, so you're, you're, you'll be pretty fast running in then. You do your burst on the DD, and then what? Then you wait 40 seconds and hope that whatever you're fighting doesn't have radar or hydro or hands, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I, I, I may be struggling to see why I would play this thing. You run in, burst, launch torps, die and go next, right? <laughs> That, that kind of seems like it. It's like, I don't know. The smoke is really bad as well. The range is 11.6, but like the DPM is going to be terrible. 10 second reload. 10 second reload DPM with 1950. What is it like Kabas it's at? Kabas it's at, wait, where's Kama? Uh, Kama? Kabas it's at like 4.1 second reload. Huh. With almost the same H alpha. Jesus, calm down. Almost the same H alpha with 4.1 second reload. And that thing has 10 second reload. Yeah, with with a... Yo, Jesus, can you shut up? Holy shit. So, um... Yeah, I mean, base, base Kaba is 10. The base Kaba is 5. But Kaba has 4.1 and then you proc... But the thing is, in the Kaba you can do... You can run Fearless Brawler. Because you're going to be open water gunboating the entire time. I don't know if you even want to run it in that. But I guess you have to to get some reload, but... Jesus. I don't... Like, it literally has half the DPM of Kaba. And Kaba isn't exactly known for its incredible DPM. Like, it's been power crept to Kingdom Come. I... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I struggle to see the point. I struggle to see the point. Flat RX, I guess, is supposed to be the point. Yikes. Yeah, no, I don't understand. Now, now the interesting part of ship that I'm actually very interested in is um, Dalarna, obviously. Uh, I wonder if it's going to have the same weakness, because I don't even know... I mentioned it a couple times, but Holland really sucks when you fight someone and you have to go nose in. Because you can't use your front guns on a close target, because you got these in the way. They block the forward firing angle. So I'm going to be interested in, does the Dalarna have a similar situation going? So this is of course Dalarna. The biggest, some of the biggest bullshit I've seen Wargaming add in a while. Which is, 
honestly not saying much because I feel like they're they're overcoming themselves all the time. This is the European super ship. Year of design 1953. A versatile destroyer that combines powerful artillery and torpedo armament with the most advanced AA and ASW capabilities for the 1950s. That seems that sounds very balanced. That sounds very balanced. Let's see. Uh, of course, here's the, the two second reload on the guns 1750. 20.3k health. The torps. You got two different torps. You got the slow torps that do a mere 70 knots. Incredibly slow. And hit for 14.4k. Super slow torps for sure. Super slow. Uh, the other ones do 86 knots. So, of course, with the module, you're going to be breaking necks with these torpedoes. 12.4 base range. I'm pretty sure Holland's base range is 10.6, maybe. And it does 36 knots. 8% speed boost, heal, defensive AA. Standard Holland. The issue here is, let's see. Ah, oh, they, they removed the, they removed the, oh no. Oh, they moved, look, they placed it on the sides. They placed it on the sides. The death charge launchers are now on the sides, so it's got an unobstructed, unobstructed, obstructed firing angle. Of course it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Why would it have the weakness Holland has? Makes no sense. Of course it's been moved to the side. Classic, 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 classic. So, for this thing has three hundred and fifteen thousand DPM. Three hundred and fifteen thousand DPM. Um, one turret has 105,000 dpm. To put it into perspective, if you go just nose in in the Dalarna, you do 210,000 dpm. A gearing using all three of its turrets does 216. This thing does two, basically gearing damage just using its front two turrets. So if this thing runs at you nose in, you, you're fighting a full gearing. If it turns and use the third turret, well then you're fighting a Marceau on steroids. because like, it does over 315k DPM. Marceau, which is the highest DPM of all destroyers, um, sits at, was it 250, 260? Let's see. Yeah, 253,000 is Marceau. Smallland is 247, Vampire is 244, and Haragumo is 240. So basically, all the big hitters until this point have been sitting at 240 to 250. That's the really, really high dpm gunboats and this thing ha slaps another 75k dpm on top of that so yeah this thing slaps a whole ale beam <laughs> on top of that basically so um the the absolutely ridiculous the ridiculously hilarious part it has been confirmed on the wargaming stream yes it has um, the absolutely hilariously ridiculous part of this ship is, of course, also that uh, it has six, less than 6.1 km conceal, uh, which means that it outspots ships like Z52, it outspots Harugumo, um, well, it outspots basically all the other gunboats in the game, and it outspots many of the hybrids as well. In fact, wait, where do we even get conceal? Let's say conceal. So, we, what's Daring's conceal? Six? I think so. I think Holland is 6 as well. So, it, this thing basically just rams into all of these with, with the same conceal. It outputs Hayate. It outputs Z52. It will outspot Smallland even. <laughs> conceal Smallland, no one runs that anyway. But yeah, uh, it outspots all the DDs while having completely ridiculous firepower. And the funny thing is, the main gimmick isn't even just the firepower. It also has these Holland torpedoes. With a... What was the reload? 90 second reload. 90 second reload. This is full build, Holland. Full build, I get down to 85. And this is like... 15%... Yeah, like, I mean, if I remove this, if I just... 100. So it has 10% faster torpedo reload than a Holland base. 
Uh, obviously, you're not gonna be building uh, torpedoes though, because the guns are so well. You can build it whatever you want, honestly. You can literally build it whatever the war you want. But I assume most people are gonna be building it guns, because the guns are so ridiculously cracked. So it's it's got more torpedo power than the Holland, and especially since you can replace them with that those hard hitting 70 knot torps, it's got more torpedo hitting. Uh, power than Holland, it can YOLO better than Holland because you can switch to the hard hitting torps which makes you a huge uh, YOLO threat because the, the damage increase was, what was the damage increase? It was from 10 point something to, it was from 10 point, you switch from 10.7 to 14.4 so you can increase your torpedo alpha by 30% which obviously means that you can YOLO and kill ships that you normally couldn't in Holland, but you can do it in this, this thing. Keep in mind that you got narrow spreads, because it's European, so you can launch these 14.4k times 10 narrow spread launches. And <laughs> yeah, still with 70 knots of speed. So obviously this thing is... This thing is superbly powerful at basically everything it does. There are no real weaknesses. It's got 9 flak as well, which is... Honestly, it's kind of, that's, what does Holland get? Holland has... Six. Six! It's get 50% more flak than Holland. Keep in mind that it's a destroyer, so it has 100% accuracy on the flak. So, it get 50% more AA than the Holland as well. It has defensive AA, I mean, it has the same thing as Holland there. And... Mi close range is 379, mid range is 210. Like, even running full builds and flags, I can only reach 347 and 144. And this, the, the, the dollar na stock has 379 and 210. So, like, the mid-range especially is 50%, oh sorry, 25, 33%, 33% increase. No wait, 50% increase, yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it's literally a 50% increase to also on the long range AA. And that's the one that gets buffed, the continuous DPS is the one that gets buffed by flak. 50% as well, so... Wow. It's... It's basically... Great. In ev like, it's ridiculous in every possible way. I don't see what the weakness is supposed to be, because... There really isn't one. I don't see what the weakness is supposed to be. It's so absurd. Jesus, it's so absurdly powerful. Like, planes will, like... They, they, they make the Holland, and then they add bullshit that it can't defend against, like Super Series, and then they, then they add a Super Holland that can defend against it. I feel like this game is in a continuous cycle of create a, prob create a problem, sell the solution, create a problem, sell the solution, create a problem, sell the solution. Yikes. Dollar nice. <laughs> Jesus. Th this thing is just completely absurd. And it says, you know, they also say that it has uh, the most advanced AA and ASW capabilities. So I wonder how good the ASW is going to be. Hmm, possible. I wonder how good the ASW is going to be, because so far everything on this ship has been basically at least a 50% increase of Holland. I wonder if both the launchers fire at the same time, and maybe it has better range or whatever. No one knows. But it basically solves all the issues of Holland and just with insane numbers, insane values. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, that is actually, that is ridiculous, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, it has no armor, thank god for that, it doesn't have armor. It is, is it larger? I hope it's larger. Let's see, is it larger? It is larger, it's longer, I think the nose is extended to make up for the second turret. It's longer. 
That is so far the only weakness I can see on it. Still, it it, retain, it has a 4.4 second rudder shift. Despite that. It has a slightly larger turning circle. Wait, it's faster as well. It's faster as well. How long does 35? What? I just realized it's faster as well. Wait, this is with speed flag. Oh, this is without speed flag, sorry. Uh, it does 36 knots. It does 36 knots without speed flag, so it's faster than Holland as well. It's one tier higher. <laughs> Jesus, I think it's more than one tier higher. I think it's two tiers higher. Holy shit. Death charge specs, they, they don't mention that. I wonder what they are, but they don't mention it. Dude, I... I'm gonna play that thing. I know I don't care. I like <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. That is completely fucking bonkers. That is completely fucking bonkers. Everything about this, everything about this is bonkers. I expected it to be stronger. Like, <laughs> dude, you gotta understand. The damn uh, six point one conceal. Like sh destroyers. Destroyers that have 6.1 conceal sit here. These are these are these are ships with 6.1 conceal. This right here. Like uh, what was this? What was the stock conceal on on this thing? Dalarna has stock conceal of 7.7. .7. So these are the ships that have the same Z52 and Hayat. These are the ships that have same conceal as as Dalarna. Z52 and Hayata has the same, and everyone else has the worse. And DPM-wise, Z52 is here, and Hayata is here. Meanwhile, Dalarna sits here <laughs> at 315,000. It's... It's insane. Also, Everyone else also suffers from the range to some extent. Like everyone has downgrades in terms of range. Like, t look at these ranges on most many of these gunboats: Marceau, Hayate, Sumeris. Like all of these gun ranges, but it has 12.3, so the gun range sits here as well. It basically has very little downsides to anything. Very little downsides to absolutely anything. The biggest downside is. The weak health pool of 20.3k, but I mean, even then, 20.3 base is it's still middle of the pack. It's still the same as I had to say 52. <laughs> oh no, dude, comparing the Z52 to this ship is so fucking tragic. Holy shit, it's so tragic. It's so tragic, dude. It's so fucking tragic. Jesus Christ, why? So it's going to beat Holland in Torpedo DPM easily. Torpedo DPM isn't actually that impressive for Holland, mostly because it's got the super fast torps. It's got these. Wait, even the slow torps on the Dalarna, even the slow torps on the Dalarna is faster than all the American torpedo boats. Those are the slow torps. Really? Wow. Wait, the alternative torps have a detectability of 1.3 km. The 70 knot hard hitting torps have a detectability of 1.3 km. 1.3? Wait, so they're still fear than the American torps while also being faster than the American torps. That literally goes against all the designs that Wargaming have put in, which, which states that if the torps are in deep water, the faster they are, the easier they are to spot. But these things are literally faster and stealthier. Maybe due to the damage? The damage is 14.4. Once again, Z52 cries in a corner. Dude, I, I feel like Dala and I just... They just went... They just threw out everything. They threw out everything... Everything that Speed talks about balance in this game, they fucking threw it out the window. 
Oh, Dalarna is big though. That's big. That's good. Dalarna is big. It's actually a big ship. That might be the biggest weakness on it. But if you just go nose in, that's the scary part. Smaller than Ragnar? No, wasn't it larger than Ragnar? No, oh wait, no, shit, it is smaller than Ragnar. Ah, fuck, I looked at it the wrong way. Never mind. I, th I thought it was, someone posted this picture, size comparison. I was hoping it was Dalarn up here, but no, it's Ragnar. So many, it's, it's larger. It's not as big as Ragnar is, but it is larger. It is clear size difference. It's literally like the nose dragged out, and it's a bit more streamlined in size. Even knows in it does 210k dpm. Yeah, I know. That's why it's fucking scary. Smaller than Ragnar. But isn't Ragnar a big ship? Ragnar is pretty huge, right? Determined Marceau would probably kill you. Probably. I feel like in a straight up even fight, a Marceau will kill you. But then you gotta remember that Dahlan outspots the Marceau hugely. Like, Marceau is the only ship that I uh, that I could see that, because of the French saturation, could shit on it. But, like, Dalarna, without a captain, or modules, or without a captain, has the same conceal. Wait, no, this is Marceau. Dalarna has, what, 6.1? This thing has 7. So you got a 900 meter spotting advantage on the Marceau. 900 meters on, basically, your counter, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Ragnar will, of course, be a pain. But... I feel like it, it can trade while disengaging decently. And more importantly, the torpedoes are going to be brutal for the Ragnar to deal with. Ragnar is probably going to win the fight, though, in the end. Because Ragnar is just so good at killing destroyers. I feel like uh, Dalarn is going to be better at killing everything else, though. The Marceau and Ragnar are the two ships I see dealing well with Dalarna. Well, Marceau kind of depends. The Dalarna has to be pretty handless. Or you need to you need to get to run down the Marceau for 900... The Dalarna for 900 meters straight in the Marceau. Um, that's basically the situation. Ragnar has a plate, sure, but you'll load AP. What's even scarier is, if that's the super EUDD, what's the super French destroyer gonna look like? Imagine a 50% increase on Clebert or Marceau. Yeah. 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 Yep, 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 yep. That doesn't seem very good. Imagine Super Z52. I literally think Wargaming would just make it bigger. <laughs> oh wait, that's Elving. Oh, sorry. I'm joking, chat. I'm joking. Elving is a fun ship. I'm joking. It's fine. Finally, I got the stream live, and you caught the stream going offline. Because <laughs> I'm gonna hop off. I just wanted to look at the new ships. I wasn't actually supposed to stream today. The plan wasn't to stream today at all. I just wanted to look at this new bullshit. The plan was not to do any stream arenas at all. Because it's midsummer. It's literally sunny. Look, Auring. Wait, can you see that? Sunny. Sunny. Auring Costa. I don't know if you can tell. Auring Costa. That means it's sunny outside. So this is a rare, rare finish day. A rare finish midsummer where there's actual sun to be seen in the middle of the summer. This is a poggers moment. And that's why I have a beer. And that's why I'm going to go outside. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the very short, very 